Hi, this is Christy with Creations by Christy, and today I'm going to show you this really awesome product that I found while I was surfing on the net. Um, it's called Bow Easy, and it really helps me to make some really pretty, perfect uh, bows. And I made these up just to kind of show you. I'll show you how to use it also, but how perfect it makes these bows. These two are made from the same ribbon, which is this wider ribbon here. And I mean, these teeny weeny little bows you can now make. You can make with your twine and whatever you have. So I'm gonna show you some, but first I wanna show you how you can keep your ribbons from fraying. I'll give you an extra little tip here. Like this ribbon, this wider pink ribbon here, Love this color, it's like a pale, pale pink. Okay, so see how that is all frayed there. So we can do a couple things. We can use this Fray No More, which you can get in the sewing department. You can also use like a fray check, whatever, and put that on the edge, like cut a nice clean edge and put that on there. You can use pinking shears, which these are my grandmother's old pinking shears. And they're pretty dull. <laughs> Need to be sharpened. And get a pinked edge like that. Or you can take your scissors, and I like to do this on my gifts a lot. Do that. Whoops, this is the wrong way. This is, I forget what that cut is called, or it goes that way. Uh, but if you go that way. I like to call it the dovetail. I don't know what it's called, but I do that on my packages a lot. Um, and then you can also, if I'm going to do it on a layout or something, because you get, here I'll get it frayed up again. Okay, so there's my little frayed edges. And I don't like that look because that's just messy. I'll take my uh, lighter and just run it real quick along the edges. And it just seals it off and it puts this little bead along the edge. You can only use this method on synthetic uh, ribbons. You can't use it on natural fibers because it will just burn it. It won't melt. Um, and what I did here was just melt the end just ever so slightly so it just made like a very small bead and melted off those little fibers. Uh, here's another one that anybody who has these know that you'll get like it'll just start and it'll psh, keep going. So if you watch, it'll just and this one you can see I melted it quite a bit and then you get that little dark part which that's why I would recommend testing it on a spare piece of ribbon. So if you just do it real quick and real light, you get a nice clean edge. So don't hold it on there long, just briefly touch it and see now it won't fray no matter how much I pull on it. So, so there's some quick little tips on how to keep it from fraying. Let me show you now how to use the Bow Easy. I love this thing. I'm so excited that I found this. And in fact, somebody, one of my wonderful little friends on, uh, on my blog, sent me one. And I already was a big fan of it, so I already had one. So I have an extra one to give away. And so if you go to my blog at creationsbychristy.blogspot.com and leave a message under this post, I will be giving away a bow easy and a big spool of ribbon. Um, so good luck. Okay, so let's see. So each one of these, this will make a bow that big. And let's see how big that is. That would be from there to there. That is almost an inch. You can also make a bigger bow from here to here. 
which is two inches. You can make a bow that's, this is two and a half, or this is an inch and a quarter. So see how that works, so you're going to use, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different bow sizes on this one uh, board. So I'm going to use this purple ribbon, let me just melt off the end here. And I'm going to use this size right here, which would be uh, inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. Uh, it's going to be inch and a quarter. Okay. And you're going to have to excuse me because I'm doing this backwards for you. Here, maybe I can do it over here. Okay, so you're going to hold it with the end on your left side. You're going to go around the end, so we're using from here to here, and there's a slot in the center. Do you see that? There's a slot in the center. Let me go in the center here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so there's a slot in the center. This is the part right here that we're going to be working with. So you're going to start on the end. You're going to go around once. Then you're going to come up and go through the hole. Let me make sure I stay in. You're going to go up through the hole, okay? And then you're going to go like right through the legs here. I like to call the legs of it. And you're going to go. through this part here. Can you see that? You're going to go back through here and out there. So you want to keep these on their little legs. You're going to go through here. Let me find it. There it is. And then out here. And that's going to stay in the center, like between the legs. And I'll do this a couple times with a couple different ribbons. Then you can pull it tight. Now you might go, well that doesn't look like a bow. This is what we've created here. Oop, where are we? There we go. But the bow is actually on the other side. And so that looks pretty beautiful and perfect. So then all you have to do is slide it off and you have this pretty little bow which then you just have to trim the tails. So there's one, and I will show you again. Here, let me just do it again really quick with the same purple. Ribbon, so you can see. Okay. So we started right here. You're going to go to your right all the way around. Go like below this tail. Go up through the hole. The hole will be on your top on the top. Get in there, little guy. And you can fold your ribbon to get through that little hole. Okay? So you have a tail sticking up the left. You got it going all the way around. And then I keep sliding up out of frame. I'm sorry. And then you're going to stick this up between the legs. That sounds dirty. Sorry. And then go over this. And out. See, if you have a tail here, Sorry, 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 it came, came out of the frame again. If you've got a tail here, you're going to have to pull a tail out this side. Just think of a bow. You need a tail on both sides. So, and then you just pull it tight, flip it over, and there's your bow. Okay. 
So now you have two bows, and this is really great because you can make multiple bows that are all the same exact size. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make, here, here's a skinny little bow. Okay, let's just keep making them in the same size. Okay, maybe this one will be easier to see because there's less ribbon. So you're going to go from your left to your right. You're going to go under that bow, under that ribbon, through the hole. Okay. Oops. Okay, start over. You're going to go from, or maybe if I hold it here. You can go around. You're going to go up through the hole. And then you're going to come between the legs through that little loop that you just made and come back on the other side. And then just pull it tight. And then on the other side you have your bow. And you just slide it off. And this is the same size as those. And you just Trim your little ends. Okay, and let me show you how you can do this big fat pink one. So for this pink one, it's going to go over the entire section here, which is fine. You want a tail on the end, on the left side. Go around. You're going to go up and go through the hole. Just push the ribbon down to get to the hole. You're going to come up. This sounds so dirty. You're going to go between the legs of the thing and go through there. And then you're going to pull it tight. I just realized how R-rated this sounds. And I apologize for that. Not my intention. Okay, so there is your little bow. Turned out so stinking adorable. And you just clip off the ends. And you have a perfect little bow. And this one was done a little bit bigger. Here's one that's a little bit smaller. And let me show you real quick how you can make a like a double bow with the twine. You can make them with more than one of the loops by easily. All you have to do is when you go around it, here, I'll do it on this itsy bitsy one here. When you go around, you go around once and then you go around, let me hold it down. Okay, so you go around once, then you go around a second time. Sorry, can you see that? So I went around once, I went around a second time before I went through the top there. Okay. Then you go up through the legs of the bow easy, and then tie it off. So then, when you go to the back, it now has two little loops instead of just one. So you pull it off, 
and you have it's got the two loops instead of one on there and you can do the same thing with the ribbons so there you go I hope this really helped um, sorry about my language didn't mean for it to sound that way and thanks for watching I will have remember go to creationsbychristy.blogspot.com and put a comment on the post and for the uh, the bow easy and I will be sending one of these out to one of the lucky winners enjoy